The momentum around Windows Phone has been great, and our marketplace now has over 50,000 apps. So how are you going to make your apps stand out from the pack? How are you going to make your users love your app so much that they take the time out to leave you a five-star review? Go the extra mile to create integrated and engaging experiences. I'm Reza Alizada, and I'm a Windows Phone champ at Microsoft. In week two's video, Kevin Ashley touched on some of this when he talked about how to utilize tiles and push notifications in your apps, and now I'm going to help you take it a couple steps further. The Windows Phone platform is designed to provide integrated experiences that allow users to quickly accomplish tasks rather than jumping in and out of different icons. The three main integration points are the Pictures Hub, the Music and Videos Hub, and integration with Bing Search through the innovative App Connect functionality. As a smartphone user, you probably know how popular photo sharing on social networks has become. Windows Phone makes this activity really easy and efficient by allowing you to share your photos right when it makes the most sense, when you're looking at a photo in the Photos Hub or right after you snap a photo. Best of all, if your application provides photo sharing or editing functionality, you can build right into that integration point and allow users to share or edit their photo in your app directly from the Camera or Pictures Hub. There are three different integration points with the Pictures Hub. The first is the Apps menu. Here, we see a list of apps that have registered with the phone to let it know that it can work with photos in some way. This is great for you as an app developer because it reminds the user about your application and gives them an additional spot to launch it from at the time they likely need it the most. If the user launches your app from this menu, the app launches just as it would if it was launched from the normal application list. The second integration point is the Share menu. Out of the box, Windows Phone will allow you to share to SkyDrive, messaging, your email accounts, and your social networks. If your app allows users to share or send photos to a service or other users, you can add your app to this list as well. Your app will be listed right up there with the others so users can get direct and instant access to it. If the user taps share and then selects your app from the share menu, your app is launched and the token to the photo the user wants to share is sent to your app so your app can immediately work with it. The last photo integration is with the apps menu. This is perfect for photo editing apps or other apps that work with photos but aren't intended for sharing. Similar to the share menu integration, this integration point will allow you to add your app to the list of apps that appear under the apps menu, which is available when a user is viewing a photo. If a user selects your app from this menu, your app will be launched and the token is again sent in so you can allow the user to work with the selected photo immediately. Adding this functionality to your app is a breeze. The Music and Videos Hub is your one-stop location for all your music and video fun. Here, you can access your music and videos that you have on your device, listen to podcasts, FM radio, and even access the marketplace to download more great content. But that's not all. You can also access your history of music and video that you've played on your device, discover great new content, and launch apps. And this is where your app fits in. Here, we see a list of apps, and this is really similar to the apps list that we worked with in the Pictures Hub. It lists all the music or video related apps in order to provide a convenient way for users to launch these apps when they are likely to need them the most. Just like we did in the Pictures Hub, we can integrate into this menu so your app shows right here. Over here is the history pane. This shows all the music and video that was played by the native player or by any apps which are properly integrated in with the music and videos hub. Each time a user plays a song or views a video in your app, you can write an entry to the phone so that it shows up in this list. This is great because it reminds the user of all the great content they discovered in your app, and with one tap, they can launch your app to play it again or resume playing from where they left off. Finally, here we have the new pane. This allows the user to see all the new content that is available for their listening or viewing pleasure. Once again, this is the perfect opportunity for your app to integrate in with the Music and Videos Hub and write any new entries to this list. By integrating here, you can surface great new content to the user without ever requiring them to launch your app to see if there's any new content available. This is a great way to increase engagement with users for your app. App Connect allows your app to be directly integrated into Bing Search on the phone, surfacing your app to your users right when they need it. I'm going to show you how this is done through the use of movie, place, and product cards which you launch as a result of your Bing Search. Let's take a look. So as you see here, when I'm searching for a movie and I go to get more information about the movie from the movie card, I can swipe over to the apps pane and see a list of apps that work with movies. You can also do this for products and places. You can integrate with any one of these cards and have your app show so the user can launch your app and pass in the context of their search so they can immediately get to the info or functionality they need. It gets even better. If the user doesn't have your app installed, your app will still show in this list so the user can download it from the marketplace. 
This greatly increases your potential for increased engagement with your users and increased downloads with potential users of your app. So next time a user searches for a Mexican restaurant, not only can they get directions there, but they can also launch your app to get reviews, see a menu, or make a reservation. If you guessed that I was going to save the best for last, well, you're right. The cloud. We live in a connected world through our phones. When designing your app, think of all the great ways you can connect your users to other users of your app. You want your users to be addicted to your app, and integrating social functionality into your apps will have your users constantly coming back for more. Top apps have an addictive quality about them. When users aren't using them, they're thinking about them, and they want to be using them. This is the life that the cloud can bring to your apps, taking your isolated user and connecting them to users across the world. The next generation of breakthrough mobile apps are built in the cloud. Windows Phone applications are more powerful, more connected, and more interactive when paired with services running in the cloud. It is critical that those services are responsive across a global audience and scalable for when your app goes viral. Whether you're new to the cloud or not, a Windows Azure trial can help you figure out how to make your vision a reality. Beyond providing the raw computation and storage needs of a web service, Windows Azure can also help with a number of other development tasks. Access control helps you to authenticate users to their preferred credentials, such as Facebook, OpenID, and Windows Live ID. Windows Azure queues and workers can help you to manage sending push notifications to devices. And finally, Content Delivery Network and Traffic Manager can increase the responsiveness of your app for a global audience. Best of all, with Windows Azure, you can start small and scale up or down based on demand. Be sure to check out windowsazure.com for more information and a Windows Azure trial. So now you know what's needed to create great experiences. I can't wait to see your apps.